If you're upgrading from Windows Vista to Windows 7, it should be a fairly easy install. You can do what's called an in-place upgrade, as long as you install the same version of Windows 7 as you have of Vista. For instance, if you have Windows Vista Home Premium, you can upgrade to Windows 7 Home Premium. You can also go from Vista Business to Windows 7 Professional, and from Vista Ultimate to Windows 7 Ultimate. Any other upgrade, like let's say you wanted to do something wacky like go Vista Home Premium to Windows 7 Professional, you're going to require a clean install. What does that mean? Well, you can't just turn Vista into 7. You have to export all your data, erase the hard drive, and then reinstall all your applications and data. Now, a lot of computer experts actually think you should do a clean install anyway, just to make sure your machine runs better. See our video for upgrading XP to Windows 7 for that clean install process. But if you're lucky enough to be able to do an in-place upgrade, and you want to, here's what you do. First, back up your data just to be safe. I recommend Macrium Reflect as a great way to image your drive. Next, put in the install DVD and run setup.exe. Press continue. If you're unsure whether Windows 7 will run, press check compatibility online, though really, you should check that before you buy Windows 7. It'll take you to a web page where you can download and run the Windows 7 compatibility advisor. But if you're sure you're compatible, go ahead and click install now. Windows 7 will begin copying temporary files and start the install. It'll first ask you if you want to go online to get the latest updates. I recommend you do it. It could save you some time later. Then agree to the terms, which you have fully read and understand. Select Upgrade. Windows will check compatibility and then begin copying files. After a while, probably hours, not minutes, your machine will start back up into Windows 7. Now, once you're all set, you may find that some of your settings didn't transfer and got overwritten by Windows 7 defaults. The most notorious of these problems is your taskbar program. So be ready to do some tweaking to get things just exactly the way you like them. Also, since you didn't start fresh, some of the quirks in Vista may carry over to 7. Most of them won't. Overall, though, it's a much simpler and faster process than the clean install. Enjoy your new OS. I'm Tom Merritt, CNET.com. Hi, I'm Molly Wood, host of the CNET Mailbag Show. It's the show where we read all of your email from the ridiculous to the sublime, and we especially like the hater mail. Really. See it in high def at CNET.com slash mailbag.